Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to the next installment of my 1078 Medieval Wars campaign as the English Kingdom. We last left off, we were cleaning up the rebellion in Wales and also finally finishing off the Irish. They only have one city left after we've taken this one, which will be very, very soon. Or did we actually take the city? Yeah, we did actually take the city, so they literally only have one province left. So once we clean that out, Ireland will be under our control and then we just kind of need to make them happy uh, by themselves without really having an army around, which sh shouldn't be too hard. Once you kind of have the money, which we definitely do have now, my god, we're making so much cash money right now. Damn, why is that? It's probably because of the tax. Yeah, it's probably because of the tax. We just did one of our missions, which just gave us a huge amount of boost, gave us so much money, and that's going to be awesome because when we can finally recruit our next barracks, we're going to be getting some sick units because if we look down here to the south, um, like right here, you see the bonuses this army has right now. It's a fighting pit, and I think it, the general has some abilities. We can recruit some Chevron 2 silver men, like infantry, because of the army and stuff like that. So if I do it over here, I was also looking as well, just to try and, you know, make get my men the most experienced as possible. I've got a trait with my governor. Uh, you can't actually see what this does, but basically it gives two chevrons to land infantry recruited in the governor's province. So I'm going to be able to get, like, gold infantry, and I think that's going to be desperately needed against the Holy Roman Empire. Because they are just so vast. Look, they pretty much hold the whole... Yeah, they literally do hold the whole of France, pretty much. And, you know, obviously all their allies and everything. It's, it's going to be an insane fight indeed. And that's why I'd really like to get the, the Spanish on side before we do actually go to war with them. I'm not so sure if we, if we can... But we, we will, we will see. Uh, if we could have a marriage, that'd be kind of nice. But I don't know if I have anyone. Yeah, we get a defensive alliance with them. That's pretty good. And a military alliance. And they wouldn't want a military alliance. But, you know, this is always good. This is boosting up our, fr our friendship. Yeah, we are improving. So they might want to do it a little bit later on. I mean, they're probably already at war. Yeah, they're already at war with everyone else down here anyway. Apart from this person. So that's all good. We are simply just at war with Aquitaine. And, yeah, some uh, Irish factions, which we will deal with. Cool. So I think this episode will finish off Ireland. And then we'll we'll move down south after recruiting some more men here. Because we might as well get some more infantry. Just because we probably will need it. Uh, you can probably get rid of this artillery piece as well. Because it's costing me, yeah, a decent amount of gold. Let's get rid of that. Just get a, a few more knightly retinue in the army. Um, yeah, and I mean, the, the cavalry as well is going to be so nice to have, like, a two sh like silver chevrons. It's going to be insane. So, yeah, let's just get three units of infantry. Then we'll move down, take out the rest of Aquitaine, uh, which will actually give us some wine to trade, which will, again, boost our economy. And I'm looking at this, like, we should be able to field, like, four or five armies, maybe, after we've, we've finished off the rest of this territory. So that should be pretty good. Um, I'm going to let them actually attack me, and then we'll, we'll probably just auto-resolve it, because ideally I want to fight, like, a siege battle. Because I haven't actually seen the comments from the last video, because I'm recording this before that video goes up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, building changes, and you want me to use them more. I mean, I'm going to use them more anyway, just because I think they're fucking cool. Yeah, if they had more herdmen, we'd probably fight this, but... There's no point, really. We might fight, fight that siege battle just in the north of uh, Ireland. Just because, I, you know, I want, I want to see what the siege battles look like more. Like, because I've only really seen one siege battle with the uh, the new mod update. So, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what more of the barbaric cities look like. And if they change at all. Oh, so this dude is actually wavering loyalty. We'll obviously have to secure that. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Because our power is weak, a lot of our, a lot of our dudes aren't, uh, aren't super, super happy with me. And ideally, we can have a child as well. That would be pretty nice. There's, there's no have a child ability, is there? I don't think so. Oh, we can get her to gather support for us, though. Yeah, we can get her to gather support, and hopefully that'll boost us up. Um, yeah, so we'll secure loyalty. Oh, but that dude who is wavering. I mean, I'm okay fighting some rebellions. If that's what needs to happen, I'm okay to slaughter everyone. Is he also... He's not actually on anything either. But he doesn't have enough influence. No, he doesn't have enough influence. When we can stick him in these positions, that will help out a little bit because it does. He does gain loyalty because of it. I would not really want Munster to rebel against me. So let's just go kill this army. Then we'll take a turn of replenishment and then we'll move northwards and take them out. So let's just do that. I might just declare war on them now. Can we force march back? No, we can't. Damn. So we're actually going to take some attrition. That sucks. I thought we'd be able to get back, but Island is a is a foresty place. Forestry place indeed. The extra food is going to help out and also help out our economy. But we'll, we'll keep on upgrading that. Uh, we can get our force march over here now. This is more of just a garrison army if anything else really. Let's improve the church. 
Why do we have scholar issues here? Why is why is the scholar so bad? It must have been weird. I thought we would. It was only tier two, so it's only giving four. What else is giving? Oh, is the merchant place giving scholar? Yeah, it does give scholar. Okay, but I mean, it's probably worth it just because the amount of gold it gives us. You know, it's an extra three hundred gold, and I think it improves trade. I just actually improve trade, but it does give us more stuff. Okay, cool. So let's make our way down south with this army now. I feel like this is more than okay to, to fight the Aquitanians. So let's move down south. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Someone got killed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's only just popped up. And then they've been destroyed. Good, good, good. So we do want to get out of the Holy Roman Empire territory. But whatever, whatever. Where's our spies as well? We need to make sure we always move our spies just to discover more land. Uh, so we have one down here. We actually discovered all of this as well. That's kind of nice. I guess because Castile's taking the land. They destroyed. I oh, know that's got gold provinces. So actually going into going into uh, Spain and provides a lot of gold. We're going through the Alps right now. And we're fucking. Oh, this army's actually not too bad. They have some pikemen, which are going to be an issue. But everything else is uh, pretty cheap. Oh, have they sorted out the upkeep costs now? I, I think I think they have. I think they have in the latest update. Look at that. Yeah, these guys are what cost fifty-seven gold. Awesome. I know, but my guys cost so much more. Why do my guys cost so much more? So I guess they haven't. I know they have in the latest update, update, but I don't know if I've got that update because I'm play. I obviously don't want to corrupt my save. Maybe it's units I re recruit. I don't know then, because his units are super cheap. <laughs> Maybe the AI gets it and I don't. I mean that's fine. I don't care. That could definitely be the case. So more of Milan down here. Yeah, I mean ideally we want to get try and get Milan on our side. That'd be amazing. If we could. So that's all our allies. I think we've done for the turn. So let's end it. Because all, we, all we're waiting for is our armies to get down to Aquitaine. To siege them out. And also for our armies to get up to the north of Ireland. To, to siege them out as well. Because it'll be nice not having to worry about them. The only real army we'll have to worry about. Is the Norwegians to the north. But we won't really have to worry about them too much. Like oh come on. Don't, don't try and attack me. That would be so annoying if they just attack that province there. We could always just build another army. In fairness. Kingdom of the Danes have been destroyed. So the Holy Roman Empire have got up there and destroyed them. Nice. You got some control. Good wifey. Nice. Does that boost her? Oh, no, does it just boost her control? I'm confused. It did push us up a little bit, right? Or not? Actually, I don't think it did. I'm not sure. I mean, it did say she got some. Oh, control. We wanted support. Yeah, this gave us more control here. How do we improve our power ranking then? How, yeah, how do we improve our power? Adopting a son would be kind of nice as well. Yeah, we do need to get an heir very soon. So maybe that is it. Yeah, let's try and adopt a son. Yeah, let's just try and adopt a son. Oh, we can adopt one of our generals. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, we'll, 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 ha we'll take kind of a, a second back just to kind of decide who we want to take. So yeah, let's move in. We will take this province from them. Actually, let oh, damn. I want to have a look quickly. Yeah, let's cancel the auto resolve. Let's just continue the siege. I want to see what part of province this is in. This is in the uh, yeah, this is in the Holy Roman Empire territory. I don't really want this province, so we're just gonna sack it, I think, and move on. Again, this province has been sacked so much by us. Because ideally, what I could do is I could take their other provinces down south, which actually will make a province. And there, oh, we actually took a lot of attrition as well. Damn, a lot of attrition. We can't fortify now either. Uh, what we can do is we can leave this province for Aquitaine to the very end and then just uh, vassalize them and keep them as a vassal, 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 keep them as a vassal so they can protect our kind of borders here. We also leveled up as well our general. I mean, this guy is really good. He's pretty old, but he's still pretty good indeed. We probably do need to adopt the son pretty soon. We don't have, we could give him more command for his unit to make him like unkillable. Or we could just improve our defense. Yeah, plus five morale when defending. Actually, we don't really defend too much, but we probably will against the Holy Roman Empire. So let's do that, just to give us more stuff. And then we'll get some morale whilst defending. I think that's fine. We do need some of these guys to replenish, so we'll replenish these guys. We're going to lose a bit of experience doing that, but I think it's better to have the, the fully strength units than anything else. So cool. Uh, yeah, that, that did take us a few of our men, but it's fine. And then we'll start the siege. I mean, hopefully we may go into the city and we can have a proper good siege there. That'll be fun. That'd be really good. How are we doing in Ireland? Coming back. Oh, we even suffered like we suffered like. Oh, babe, this is probably the army which pr is pretty much immune to. Yeah, this is the army which is pretty much immune immune to snow. That's good. 
Yep, everyone should follow me. Good, good, good. I mean, they're just going to end. They don't have an army. We'll just build some siege equipment and then take them out. So we probably won't fight this siege battle, but we'll fight the siege battle down in Aquitaine because that should be pretty good because um, they actually do have some armies here and stuff. So let's my turn again. And we're jumping. I think this should look more like a, a better city as well. Damn, I forgot my fucking agents again. I need to set them on a path just to go somewhere because I forget them so much. Like what they're actually doing. There's so much gold down here as well. I like bronze in the in the Spanish mountains. We could definitely use if we if we were to move down there. They really think they're gonna defeat me there? Or are they just gonna loot or something? Because I mean they don't have a general there, but like they have a garrison and that's like one unit, right? So let's move these guys straight away whilst we explore more of this territory. Is this Portugal? Nice Portugal. And we got Aragon there with a, a pretty interesting army right there. That's a cool army. Very cool army. So yeah, you just come down here to the coast. Yeah, let's just go there. And then this army over here. Just go down Italy. Explore the whole of it. Oh my god, the Holy Roman Empire own it all. Oh my god, they own like everything down in Rome. God damn, they probably own all of this as well. It's going to be such a, a, a fun war against them. Burgundy and Aquitaine are now at war. Oh, did, did they actually take out some of their land? Or not? I think we just took this out from them, but I'm not too sure. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and start our siege then over here. Siege to their hovels. I mean, they have a decent amount of cavalry, but everything else is pretty wank. Uh, let's just get some ladders and some siege towers. Probably prefer to get the siege towers over the ladders. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, also getting the, the medium uh, artillery would be kind of nice as well. And the, the medium siege equipment would be pretty awesome once we finally get that. So do we have enough now to take this out? We do indeed. So we're just going to auto-resolve this. And there we have it. So we could subjugate them, but I'm just going to occupy the city. Just so that we hold everything. I'm sure this will give us more money in the long term. So let's repair the church. It's actually a ministry, which is kind of good because it does help everyone out. Um, and it does actually provide public order for everyone adjacent as well. That's nice. Uh, we don't need the barracks or do we? We don't really need the barracks here. So we could think about destroying that. We can definitely destroy that. We'll get the agency building. Um, and they are going to rebel, but then we just kill the rebellion. That's fine. This general leveled up as well. We've already got the upkeep cost. Um, let's get that and that just to give him more stats. Hopefully make him more loyal as well. And uh, yeah, cool. Let's end the turn. We have so much money. I should really be spending this if I'm honest. But like ideally all we're doing is waiting for our um, for this building to be built. So we can then build our next, our next building. That's like what we're just holding out for. I guess we can increase some of these buildings. But again, we don't actually have too much food either. Obviously, you can increase that. The squatter will go up to six, which is going to make them unhealthy, so we can't really do that. Ideally, we want to get this tech. We get a church as well. Church hospice. I guess that's only in a monastery. Tribunal. Manor farm is kind of nice as well. After we've got that. Okay, cool. So we do need to start getting some more economic buildings, I think, just to help, uh, help out the squatter. There's nowhere else I really can upgrade at the moment. We have so much money. We could upgrade some of these, these buildings, but they're already tier 2. How are we doing over here? But we would we'll upgrade that garrison post and probably upgrade this just to get more garrison. But again, the food consumption is going to start becoming an issue. Oh, we can destroy this. Nice. We'll do that. Finally destroy the, destroy the ruins. And I guess we can upgrade this. Oh, it's so much more food, but an extra 30 food. That's only an extra 20, so let's just upgrade that. That gives us more growth and stuff. New character to be assigned. Uh, we'll do that. I guess it does give us more loyalty as well, which is ideally what we need. Cool, now let's end the turn again. Hopefully, Aquitaine don't charge out to fight me because I really want to fight it as an actual siege battle. So, fingers crossed, Aquitaine don't come out and uh, try and fight me, like on a land battle. The Holy Roman Empire coming back from destroying the Danes. No, they're going to. That's so sad. I want to fight the siege battle. Go away. We might just retreat. And if they want to fight us like in the field again, they can. But we're going to slaughter the army. I want to I want to literally just fight a siege battle. So we're going to fall back. And they're just going to push on. Okay. I mean, we do have the catapults. We can probably smash down a wall. 
Oh god! Oh no, it's Scotland. Okay, don't worry. I thought Nottingham had uh, declared war on them. Obviously, we'll enter on side of the ally. So back to war with Scotland. I mean, they're in a bad place. Because they might take York, but they slaughtered York, actually. But surely Nottingham can now move in with their armies. Kill this rebellion in Ireland. He actually survived a turn. That's funny. I mean, we'll just go and kill him with the other army we actually have in Ireland. Okay, cool. So let's move around, like, here. And build siege equipment again. We just have to make it one turn. I mean, we do have a catapult, so we could a fight, technically. But I don't know if that one catapult is going to be able to... Like, I don't want to just smash down one wall and then that be it. Because it's like, I just want to at least get some siege equipment. So we'll just try and continue the siege. Hopefully their army doesn't come down. We could have moved around a bit more as well, which I might actually do. Yeah, let's break the siege and move round. Uh, let's break the siege. Uh, let's move round if we can, like here, and then attack them. That just might make it a bit easier. Knight attacking as well. That's how cool we can knight attack. Okay, cool. Because I really want to fight this as a siege battle. I think it'll look really cool. Uh, we are going to obviously get attacked up here if we're not careful. So maybe building an army here would be a good idea. Or at least a general unit. Because I did see their full stack coming up here. And what this province has. A pretty abysmal garrison. So I think maybe we're going to have to get another general. I think we are. Okay, loyalty. I mean, loyalty is always... Are they all the same? And everyone's got the same stuff. Who's the youngest? You are the youngest. Um, so I think I'm going to build him over here. Just because then I can recruit more men. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's get him. He's the youngest. We we'll reinstate an army as well, which we will do. Cool. So just get some, just get some basic swordsmen. And then quick time it down there. Actually, if we're in the field, do we still get the recruitment? Because, like, I was noticing. Oh, we can't even move him anyway. So, yeah, we have to actually recruit here. Just get like five units of swords and that should be plenty. Absolutely plenty. Plenty. And if they do retreat back, then that's fine. It's not really an issue. Cool. So we do have to leave this army here for a little bit. Just whilst everyone becomes happy again. Oh, we can get a church school. That's good. Imperium and research rate. So let's pick that up. We could also get a hospice. Which does help out with sanitation. Let's get a hospice and destroy this. And change it into a wine. No, let's destroy this and get a, a thing here. A ch proper church thing where I think that seems like a good idea. Because uh, the hospice will help out with sanitation in all the regions. It should, I'm hoping, touch these regions as well. Because technically they are adjacent. So I'm hoping that they will affect like everything. We do have to be somewhat careful as well to uh, to the Scottish moving down south. We, we will go deal with them if we have to. Um, but hopefully Nottingham could have their way with them. Nice, we can now upgrade to the next building getting our, all our elite soldiers. Oh, we can get the bombards as well. So we can actually start getting some cannons. That's really good. So how do we... Oh, we get footmen at arm as well. Nice. This is this is going to go downhill for the enemy very, very soon. When we whip out them units. Cool. Let's, let's end the turn. Can we have a nice war chest? 24 grand. That's very good. I'm happy with that much. Good thing I, I set these guys off to go explore by themselves. I wish there was like an auto-explore thing. That would be nice. I would also like to, because obviously they're, the Holy Roman Empire's Imperium, like, they, they're limited to armies, technically. So they can only have around about 12 armies, I think the limit is. Maybe 16. Which is a fucking lot of armies, but it's not... Oh, Cole, go away! I want to fight a siege battle! Oh, we'll just retreat and then next... Oh, they'll... Okay, cool. We're just going to fight, fight them, I think. Like, we're just going to have to try and smash down a wall. Well, they are going in. Uh, Scotland are going deep. We're going to have to send some troops to go deal with them, for sure. This rebellion is going to have another go. And all oh, the garrison is going to send it back to whence it came. Actually, what we could do... Okay, cool. That's, that's our plan down in Aquitaine. We go down south, we smash that reinforcement army and take over the city. And then we'll have a much better chance of actually sieging out the province here. So we'll move down south now. Stop any reinforcement army now. Kill them. We won't bother fighting this. Even though that it's really close when it shouldn't be. Uh, but anyway, we'll auto-resolve it. Obviously win back. We will take the turn, a couple of turns of replenishment because we need to. We'll obviously... Uh, we could liberate it. Who's... Country... Oh, we to lose. That's cool. We'll just occupy it. Get the replenishment rate. We'll be back up to full strength momentarily. These guys have upgrades? Oh, sword and shield. Nice. So we've taken this. We want to take this anyway. Uh, we'll repair the main building. Let the other ones repair. Just because I want the the money from this. 
We'll let the other ones repair slowly. Nice, our fighting thing has now been completed. Four units of infantry or five units of sword infantry should be more than enough. Yeah, the Scottish have pushed in pretty, pretty hard. This army could go and hit them now. I'm going to let them take a turn of attrition. And then if they siege out any of these buildings, that's when we'll march. Um, I can't actually recruit any more men or any good men here. I don't think. No, I can't. We could get some more archers. I might just get one unit of archers and that'll be it. How expensive are their guys? Yeah, their guys all have like a unit cost, so I think it's just worked for me, but the, the unit cost is here, but I just have to start a new campaign for it to work for me, but the AI gets it as well. So, I mean, I don't care. That's kind of like another handicap to make it a little bit more difficult uh, for me. Oh, we encountered the Pope. How are you doing, good sir? How are you doing? So, we'll continue to move down Italy. Continue to explore. Same over here as well. I am the knight. So we'll just we'll, we'll scout out the rest of here, move back, then come round. Um, yeah, then that, we pretty much discovered the entire map apart from like the, the Eastern Europe then. Asian exposed. Ooh, some, uh, some Spanish factions going to war with each other. The Kingdom of Danes have emerged. Tazar, they're back. That's probably where the Holy Roman Empire was moving back there to go take them out. And I guess... Oh, yeah, we can build here now. What do we want to build? What's our... What's our being done it, oh, it's really annoying that we don't have a larger sanitation over here and there's nothing we can really change we can change it to a yeah that but that doesn't really help so let's just get a let's get a water mill but then again we don't have any ag agriculture here at ever whatsoever um we don't need a blacksmith here let's just get a trading post again it's easy money you know it doesn't really cost me a lot one of our generals is leveled up he is the governor of, of somewhere up north. So I guess we'll just get that and then we'll get... Oh, sanitation. Yeah, we should actually get start, get start getting some sanitation things. Because that boost in sanitation is going to allow us to get a few extra things. Yeah, we can upgrade a few. Yeah, we can upgrade this now, I, I believe. Yeah, we can actually upgrade that to a, to a better goldsmith. So yeah, I should have done that for two points just so we could upgrade our mine as well. So there's a little bit of a, a mistake on my part. But not too bad. So now we have to watch what the Scottish do. Because I can just march an army up there, which I probably will do, and just take out the Sc take out Scotland as well. Because why not? Like, it's just more territory, more money. More money to feed our, our support down in the south. They're going to fall back now. That's fine with me. Hopefully our army has time to replenish so we can march on the Aquitaine capital and get a pretty cool battle. So they're going to attack Lincoln. And they're just going to... They're going to... Oh, there you go. They, they won or lost? I'm, I'm really confused. Lincoln raised a huge force there as well. So, fuck you, Aquitaine. We smashed you. Now we go up and siege. I know our men are very depleted, but I really just want to fight this fucking battle. And they're just going to amass more men. I think, actually, we, we can't really do that. Because they're just going to assault us. Yeah, they're just going to attack us if we don't replenish up to full strength. So let's just break that because we can't do that unfortunately um, and we'll just march back we'll just take another couple turns we need these knightly retinue to be up to full strength and i guess we'll just recruit a few extra more men as well just to give us like just to give us you know more numbers so they're less likely to try and attack me and we'll just wait because we can always fight another army if we need to i'm not scared of that but i just really want to fight that siege battle and see what it looks like yeah, they must be, like, super depleted. They will be pushing forward and attacking me. But I can't imagine they have too many men. Maybe we should just come back and just be safe and recruit recruit a few extra units here. Just to be safe. With the silver upgrades as well. That's so sick. That's really good. That's not even with the general, the new fighting pit, which we can now build. Let's get a couple units of nightly retinue. We'll upgrade all these guys, apart from you guys. 
Oh, that's a lot of money, but actually we won't. We won't bother doing that. So we'll just get a few extra units. We can upgrade the fighting pit as well. Four turns. So nice. In literally four turns, we can build our new model army. And it's going to be sick. With the extra foot nightly retinue, we should be able to take care of these armies. Uh, even though we don't really have a lot of horses. But whatever. I'm okay not having a lot of horses. Even though horses are probably the, the one reason we win so many battles. We can bring back this army uh, probably very soon when a few of these buildings are built. Like do that. Uh, so yeah, are you guys happy now? Uh, the military crackdown is plus seven and military presence is plus seven. We'll give these guys a few more turns just for their immigration, their food. Oh, they're struggling massively for food, even though they have a manor house. Is it really that bad? I could oh, obviously just destroy this and build some more food there. Cool, because then what we can do with this army is just invade Scotland and take them out from behind whilst all their armies are down in the south. That seems like a, a very good plan, so we'll do that. Uh, our army in Aquitaine is replenishing. So they'll move up and, and assault the, uh, the the city. And hopefully that'll, that'll turn into a really cool battle as well. Some of the uh, Spanish troops. This Danes a want a non-aggression pact. They've actually been subjugated as well. That is why <laughs> I propose this. Hmm, bless me. Um, so, uh, yeah, they want a non-aggression pact for sure. I won't want to go to war with them. And, I mean, they don't want to go to war. I don't know why they did that, really. But, I mean, it means they're not going to get any Viking raids at all. So again, Aquitaine are moving up, the Scottish are moving down. But they're definitely losing troops here, so our army should be strong enough. Now that we have the extra troops to break these guys, they're keeping their armies fairly close together, which is smart. Very, very smart of them. We'll move up our, our spy some more. Just to keep on exploring all up here, we'll send them like there. Our dude down here in Italy. We still have to go, we'll like probably go down Italy, up Italy, get the rest of Toulouse. So yeah, we'll just continue him down here. There's so many cities. Yeah, just go like there. I mean, obviously, we've got the Latin Empire as well, Byzantian Empire right there. Governor of Wales has, has leveled up again? I swear he just leveled up. No, he didn't. I don't know what, what just got there, got, what got leveled up then. Let's move our army up here and we'll just smash these Scottish ones. I doubt they've got any strength left in them whatsoever. So nothing to worry about. Let's get some more farms on the go. Or can we not build the farm because we already have it? Oh, probably that's the case. But I mean... Oh god, I did not mean to destroy that. No, no, no. I mean, we have a, a fishing post here as well. So why is the food such an issue? I'm really confused. But you've got a mana, you got a mana farm, which is giving you loads. I guess we'll just have to get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get rid of this and build a farm over here then. I'm still like confused as hell as why they've uh, why they're suffering for food so much. Um, and let's just get a, let's get a surface mine over here. We have the uh, we have the stuff to do that. Cool. So they're done. How's our replenishment looking down in the south? It is uh, looking uh, very nice. So we'll just do this. I mean, one unit we're missing. I'm sure we'll be fine. And our knights obviously could do with another turn, but that's fine. I'm pretty tempted just to fight this battle with our siege equipment, but I know it's not going to be the case. If they attack me this time, then I'll just say fuck it. Um, we could attack at night as well. That doesn't that gets rid of a general, which doesn't really help us out. Um, yeah, so if they attack me again now, I'll just say fuck it and we'll just use our siege equipment. Because obviously we only have one catapult and one artillery piece, which isn't going to break down a wall very quickly. But, you know, if they, if they do commit to it, then whatever, we'll, we'll just go in. This person has leveled up again. She is turning in so good. We'll get the research rate uh, for, yeah, we'll get the research rate for civic. Help us speed on down along that tree. God, our armies are getting close to being completed, or at least ready to be recruited. Aquitaine do not have many men left either. I'm just looking forward to the siege battle. If they, yeah, if they do decide to attack me, then we'll just say fuck it and we'll just go in and go with our catapult and hope that it can smash down a wall. Uh, no Burgundy want a non-aggression pack now as well. Of course, they'll pay me gold for it as well. I know, like, 
No, nice. So good. We actually get some goddamn siege equipment now. Their men get on the boats. Why did your men get on the boats? Uh, no, I'm just going to wipe Scotland out now. They, they've been an annoyance. And I mean, they're getting smashed back now as well. Oh, it's so annoying they got on the boats because now it just means they're not going to have many men in the city. But cool, let's just get into this and fight this. Oh, why are you on the boat? It's just... Okay, guys, so I did just fight that battle where I fought a little bit of the battle, but it was just really crappy with the units coming off the boats, and it just didn't really work too well. And I, I, I kind of wanted this to be a good siege battle as we've been waiting for so long for it to happen. Uh, so what I decided to do was I actually wait another turn to see if our army would come off the boats and back into the city, and that's exactly what they did. So we're actually only a turn ahead of the last where, where I caught this episode, um, and we're just going to fight this battle now with the soldiers actually inside the city. Uh, we do It does actually kind of work out as well because we do actually have a, another turn of siege escalation so that means the walls will be a bit more derelict a bit easier to smash down with our single catapult so overall it, it kind of worked out in our favor okay guys so we are in the battle we were just fighting the dry a dry uh weather that's absolutely fine with me so you can see but they do actually have a bretonian towers which is nice luckily the siege escalation has created all these towers being destroyed you can tell that by the, the like the, the roofs being wrecked and stuff like that which is you know a pretty nice representation it'd be cool also if they managed to get the the like towers to be collapsed or something but overall that's fine um and as well as that like a lot of the buildings you know they aren't really clumped together or anything but this is, this is a smaller city compared to the other ones the much larger cities are absolutely crazy covered in all these buildings but i think overall the city does look very cool for a, a nice little like outpost city for sure so all these towers are still actually up and up and working by the looks of it this has actually already been destroyed as well. Hopefully, maybe some of this wall has also been destroyed. Yeah, some of this wall was really close to collapsing as well. So, we'll use that to our advantage. God, I love siege, siege, siege escalation so much. It looks so cool. And the nice thing is as well that all their forces will be in the city. But we won't have to be waiting for them to come off the boats or anything like that. Because it's always really lame when we have to do that. Uh, so, let's form up our archers right there. Our infantry can get ready this behind the siege towers. Uh, we'll get our catapult up here ready to smash down that wall. Because I will be sending some infantry through that wall as well. We have a ballista as well, which I believe we actually stole from the enemy. We have some uh, weaker spear militia. Obviously be our meat shield. These nine knightly retinue can sit back with the king and just watch them. Uh, yeah, you guys can just sit there, you know. From the safety of this derelict house, you guys can just watch the battle unfold. Uh, then we have some uh, of our actual knightly retinue as, get, uh, as well, which can sit back here. We'll probably send these guys up through the breach. Yeah, that's, that seems like a good idea. I mean, our cavalry can just sit back in case any other reinforcements come. Uh, so we'll split these guys up. They're, they are actually somewhat depleted as well. Then obviously our king uh, can sit there. But obviously we want to make sure he's nice and protected. So let's start off a battle by advancing wherever we can. So there, 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 and there. Cool. Let's continue to smash down this. We want to break that right there. We do have some men coming off the boats. We don't... I mean, our, our ballista I can shoot off into them, but our catapult, I want to smash down the walls. They have some archers. So let's send our cavalry to go kill these archers as soon as they get off the boats. I kind of feel sorry for them as well. Our siege towers are moving up. We'll move up our spear militia as well. We'll just march these guys up to absorb any ammunition which they do send our way. But look at that. Look at the towers and the buildings in the distance. <laughs> Glorious. And I've seen they did actually link some of the stuff they've been working on on my online battle I did. And oh my god, it looks absolutely amazing. It's like, do we smash it down? Why didn't it go down? 97%, come on, destroy it. Or can we not destroy it? Hopefully we can. But they sent me some of the stuff and it's literally like, they've got all the Bretonian walls and everything in the game. And it, it looks so fucking amazing. It really does. So I can't wait till this is you know a bit better done. It's still not working. It's still not destroying the wall. What can we just not destroy these walls? That's 99%. Oh my god, these archers are getting slaughtered as well by their catapult. They actually have a uh, ballista as well. Let's bring back this cavalry then. I've already lost a ton of horses because of it. These archers can probably shoot me as well. We'll bring up our archers. Stick them obviously to heavy shot. Nice, destroy the wall. Okay, good. Break down more of a wall if you can. Uh, we're getting siege, so break down this wall as well. Just to make it look easier for my men to get up there. Because if we can break down another part of the wall. Nice. We did. Yeah, good. That, that opens up. Look at all the space we have there. God, they have two catapults. They have two catapults. Wow. Um, and I mean, 
If you guys can, I guess actually just save your ammunition. Shoot here. Flaming shot and just shoot into that. They are trying to hit some of these catapults as well. I mean, some of this siege equipment, which could go pretty bad for me because these are only the weakest siege equipment. So they can definitely break through there. We'll advance our infantry up. Tell them just to walk, though. I'm in no rush to charge these guys up. Which are over here. We've got the catapult coming. Flaming shot. Come on. Big hits. Big hits with the arrow fire. Oh, I just missed. That's unfortunate. Oh, we slaughtered that guy. That guy just got wiped out. Uh, I mean, he deserves it for not moving out of the way like any other sensible person would do. Our siege towers are, are arranging up on the wall. We'll be here soon. Only a matter of time. Keeping an eye on their boats, making sure they don't come off. But yeah, these are warriors. Should be okay there, especially with our nightly retinue moving up. Oh, I think we just got a massive hit there. Yeah, we killed like six or seven dudes there. Perfect. Ideally, we want to be killing the cavalry, but that's fine. Up we go. We'll probably run up the nightly retinue now. Because I want to joint assault these guys with the rest of my soldiers. Up we go. Nice. That's exactly what I like to see. Off, boys. Off the siege. No one to meet us as well. Getting our cavalry up here would not be a bad idea as well. If we can smash down like this part of the wall, I'm not sure if we can. Just because it's kind of like a bit off. Yeah, we won't be able to destroy that. But getting our horses up here would be pretty nice as well. Nightly retinue. Get up there. Help out. Get up there, help out. Okay, they're about to push some men off the boats. These guys can probably get up here ready to fight. These guys can definitely move up. The artillery can keep moving. Okay, get ready to smash these archers as soon as possible. Longbows continue just to kill the horses. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Knightly retinue, push up, push up here. Oh, right in the flank as well. Perfect. Forward you go, boys. The archer fire, the crossbow fire is hurting out a little bit. But up we go up here and just slaughter them. Yep, we're taking up missile fire, but that, that's fine. Let's wipe them out. A few of these guys can probably actually make their way up here now. Because it's just going to be easy. Like, there's no one to stop them. Let's form up there. Get these spearmen up here as well. Oh, this is not going to be nice, though. This is not going to be nice. Oh, charge them aside. Luckily, it's only melee cavalry, so it's not too bad. But the, the sergeants are going to be having a bit of trouble doing that. Oh, the fighting is awesome, especially with the tower as well. We've got the artillery coming in, the archer fire. How are we doing over here? We dealt with them yet? Are we actually getting shot up by some missiles over here? Are we actually do have some cavalry? Let's send our general. Our general should be okay here, honestly. I mean, we do have some infantry coming as well. We're sending over just to reinforce that cavalry. Spearmen are making their way up. Ideally, I would have wanted the spearmen not to do that, but that's fine, whatever. God, these guys are taking a, a pretty big pounding as well from the enemy missile fire. Rousing the spearmen is going to help us out. The quicker we route the spearmen, the better. And this cavalry might as well come in as well, just to help out. Because they're going to be like real good shock infantry and shock cavalry. So, Yeah, that's fine. We'll walk right here just to route these guys. I mean, our general should be able to kill them pretty effectively. Yeah, they're already dead. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing, Catapult? Is that just like YOLO, we'll just shoot our general for fun? Come on. Okay, move up there. Our cavalry can actually get around the flank now, which is really nice. Oh my god, the crossbows are slaughtering me though. We need to get these horses inside the city and round here as soon as possible to deal with the amount of crossbows they have. They have so many and they will be racking up a plenty of kills. Yeah, look at this. We're losing so many men trying to take this just because of the sheer amount of goddamn crossbows they have. And these towers as well, racking up kills. It's going to be a brutal fight. The quicker we can free up this cavalry unit over here as well, the better. We'll charge in here. Hopefully this will break their, their infantry. Oh, I would think so. If I got charged in the back like that, sending so many of them to, of them to the floor. Our general is on 28 men, so we do have to be very careful. But look at their numbers drop. Yeah, that was, that was a beautiful charge in the back. We do have, still have some more infantry to send. We ideally just need to break through here. Get the, more of the horses up here. And just break through this, uh, this point. We could have obviously destroyed the gate as well. That could have helped out, but we will make do. Our archers are doing plenty of damage on them. 
Yeah, keep on charging, boys. Charge down these crossbows. I mean, if I can get my more horses down onto their crossbows there, that will also be very good. A few of their men are coming back. Nice. We've routed these guys. Okay, cool. You guys form up there. General, come all the way back. Don't want to risk you. But the horses can definitely move into the city. Okay, you guys go after the crossbows. You guys go deal with them. Uh, that infantry there or that cavalry there. Go deal with them. Continue our push on here. I mean, our archers should, I'm hoping, be able to deal with the uh, with the crossbows down here. So it's really just down to our our cavalry to get around the side like they're doing, charging up here. They actually completely missed out some of their soldiers there, but that's fine. These horses can go deal with them crossbows. You guys continue to push. Oh, we're going to get stopped by the general. That's fine, bro. I mean, fighting their general is, is okay. Why, ooh, why, why have we stopped? Why have we lagged? We haven't crashed? No, it's fine. Okay, cool. So I got a little bit scared, but I was like, no. Because that would have been our, our second crash. Oh, it's... What's going on? The game is uh, is struggling right now. Seems okay. I don't really know what's going on right now. God, we're getting slaughtered by, by the towers coming in. That's just brutal. That horse, them horses are just not loving that. Oh, what are you doing, nice? God, why is the battle lagging? No, come on. Let's push back with our horses. We know our horses to come around this way. We'll send a unit to go. Oh, my God. These units are so depleted, though. We just need to take out these towers, though. Cavalry, come round. We need you round here to go deal with them. And we need to be smashing down these guys as soon as possible. Luckily, our archers are managing to route a lot of these units. We can change a flaming shot as well. That could definitely help out. Uh, especially shooting here. I think we've mainly managed to deal with a lot of the enemy missiles here. Some of their scouts getting out of the city, but I'm not too much of a fan of that. But yeah, these knights are gonna unfortunately get killed. They did, did a brave job to try and kill these guys, but they're just not going to manage to do it. Try and take out them towers. I know it's hard to do so. Let's get on board with these guys. Who should be charging. Oh, the AI is struggling for parping AI charge. And the lag as well is brutal. I do apologize for this. I don't really know what the, why it's doing this. Hopefully it smooths out, though. Killing them crossbow. I mean, at least stopping the crossbows from shooting is the main thing. Getting more of our horses in the city. With the fire arrows as well, we should be breaking this. I'm actually going to risk and bring up my general to uh, use, the, uh, use his war cry ability. Because if he can use his war cry ability, that might be able to route a lot more soldiers. Especially with all the fire arrows coming in as well. That will definitely help out. So he's up. Use your war cry and then get the hell out of there. I don't want him to die, obviously. The men are broken and running for their yeah, lives. they routed. Come on, just continue to try your best to hold this. I know it's brutal. This maybe just be like a suicide mission here. Goddamn towers, man. We'll shield wall just to try and help us out. And, and maybe manage to take out them towers. We're doing a good job here, though. This is the main thing. Clearing out this little engagement here. Allowing our swordsmen to push on. Is always going to be beneficial. As the Aquitaine flag still reigns high right now. But not for much longer. We have another unit of infantry we can send as well, which we will do. We'll bring that round. We have our archers shooting out their soldiers. Nice. Good job, infantry. That was amazing. I could not have asked for anything better from you guys. Um, even though our cavalry is weak, I think we need to come around here and just smash them in the back and try and route them like so. This infantry can come back around. There's no point assaulting this central point. No point whatsoever. So I think we just get a nice rear charge right here. we got fresh infantry coming up. Uh, we also have another unit right there. Our knightly retinue is not going to bother coming up. Our general can move up though. That charge around the back should hopefully route these guys. Come on. We just need a, maybe a, a volley of fire arrows to help out. So these guys aren't currently affected by the fire arrows. So maybe a volley of fire arrows could help here. And just route them. Please say that's the case. Yes, look at that route. Perfect. You guys continue shooting there. Yeah, you guys come back in and start shooting these guys back here. We are. We haven't actually fully taken these, this position yet, but we've got the towers, which is fine. Archer fire coming in on them crossbows. We have some more men moving. Oh, it's going to be hard to actually break these, these billmen for sure. 
But yeah, we're managing to route everything here good, good. Unless you guys send some of my cavalry off to chase them down so they don't come back. The Billman, the Billman are going to be very difficult to break. We can use our archer fire to help out though. But I really just want to focus down killing all these archers. And nice, we've actually managed to finally clear these guys out. Cool, so the rest of our infantry can move around now. We'll send a unit of infantry around this way to get up that wall. The rest of our men move there. Cool, so we are going to clean this up. Victory is going to be ours. It's been a very stressful battle just because of the amount of crossbows they have. They do so much damage. And ideally, we want to just fully route these guys. So I'm going to pop my walk right here just to see if we can fully, fully route them. I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Spearmen aren't holding. Uh, a few, like a few 13 horses managed to get around the back. And slow these guys out. I, don't, I really don't know what was up with that lag. Like, it seems fine running most of the time. It's just every so often it kind of struggles a little bit. We'll just kill this artillery crew. Just get them out of the way. Let the archer fire still continue just to, to come in. We don't really need to route people too much now. So let's just change back to heavy shot. Uh, just to try and do as much damage as possible. Surrounding these billmen should be the end of them. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can clean them up. And it's only the general left to fight. Some infantry coming around here. Uh, we might as well just go all the way around. There's no point destroying that barricade. It's probably just as quicker to, to do what I'm doing. Longbows are proving their worth right now. Well, they should be. They're not volleying at the moment. Only one unit is. Maybe we have to... We've got like one guy shooting. Maybe we need to move these guys a bit closer. Let's move them a bit closer. I think they're struggling a little bit, maybe for range. Rest of infantry is pushing into the city now. The Billmen are fighting back to back. Their end is very soon to be upon us, though. And there we go. They've routed. Let's push up here, deal with the last crossbowman, and then kill their general, and then victory will be ours. Definitely a very difficult battle. That was not easy uh, at all. Move around here with the rest of our cavalry. Our general can move up now. We don't really have any missiles left. Our general can move up as well. Yeah, these guys can just volley their, their routing units. Just get some free kills that way. Yeah, once they're closer, they can all shoot now. Which is much, much better. Capturing a victory point, are we? I think these guys can just hold fire now. Or just move into the city again. Oh god, yeah, we do actually have some men still alive here. My general was, uh, you know, in, in fighting at the moment. Well, if we have some horses, go chase them down. We can kill their crossbow militia. Yeah, they've routed. Cool. Just focus on killing their general then. Deal with him. These guys move up. Just ignore the billman because the billman will just rout when the when we uh, when we kill their general. That was a good charge in the back of the general. Yeah, my god, look at that! Look at that siege. That's awesome. And this is only like a, a small city. You guys should see the larger cities. They look so awesome if you haven't seen them already. They look really, really, really cool. Especially with all the buildings and stuff in the background. I, 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 I just love it. The general is routed now. That should be it. We should claim victory. Hopefully the battle actually ends this time as well. You know, last, last episode the battle just didn't end, which was kind of weird. But we do actually hold a victory point as well. So we don't have to wait for a couple minutes if that is the case. We have lost a lot of men, though. Like, this was a hard siege to actually win, considering we didn't have any good troops. So this, this actually bodes really well for the future, because when we're fighting the Holy Roman Empire, and we fight, say, like, a, an army of, like, a, a proper Imperial army with, like, Tier 3 units, we're going to need a lot more soldiers than we have, like, than just one basic army. We really need to take a city with, like, two stacks, maybe even three stacks, which is really awesome. I'm looking forward to fighting them type of battles, where we actually have to have, like, you know, a couple stacks to win the day. Is that everyone routed? That is everyone routed. The battle... Oh, the battle did end. Thank God. I was like, damn, why is the battle not ending? But cool, close victory. That was definitely a close victory. So I do apologize for the lag. I don't really know what that was. I did restart my computer and I thought that I'd sort it out. But maybe maybe the baby just needs a bit more rest uh, before we jump into a battle like that. Uh, our infantry obviously doing really, really well. Really well. Um, yeah, Knightly Wesley is doing good. So I think if we ever ever do fight like a massive siege battle, which we're going to definitely have to do, because, you know, you saw how many casualties I took from these crossbowmen and stuff. If they actually have good infantry, it's going to be a, a freaking hard siege indeed. Like a really hard siege. So we're going to have to have like at least two stacks pushing forward, like to take one city if they have a full stack defending it, plus the garrison. 
It's going to be hard indeed. So when we do fight battles like that, I will definitely turn my graphics down because it's much better having the battle run smoothly. Uh, but I don't think the lag in this battle was down to my computer. I think it was just... Um, well, if it was down to my computer, that it shouldn't regularly be a, be a problem. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that. Close victory. Yeah, it was actually a pretty close victory. But taking them out is actually really nice. We could loot and occupy it. I'm just going to occupy it because I don't want to have to pay all this money. And we don't need the money either. So we're just going to take the city. Uh, let the replenishment kick in. Because we definitely do need it. Uh, we'll repair this great press because it does give us loads of money. Uh, we'll repair the wine trader and the merchant and this. It's actually quite good to have a abbey here because the abbey will provide you know, sanitation for all the provinces surrounding it, which will be kind of nice. Uh, so yeah, Aquitaine, I believe, are down to just one province or two provinces now. So we just have to take this out and that out um, and then we will win the day. Can we actually destroy this army? We can't. Oh my god. So we'll just, we can't even force march back in the city either. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, lucky we don't actually lose that much attrition. Oh, we got so many men back as well from us being England. Because we are like Mercia, they get extra double unit replenishment when taking on defend, uh, defeated troops. So we actually got so many men back. Wow. So many men back. Cool, so we'll replenish them. Hopefully destroy this last Aquitaine army. Go hit their capital. Maybe rise up another faction if we can. Yeah, we, what, we, what we can actually do is we go take this, recreate Toulouse as a vassal, and then we go take this and recreate Aquitaine as a vassal. That seems like a good idea. That seems like a very good idea. So they'll move back. We have taken Ireland. We've defeated Aquitaine uh, pretty much in this war. As soon as this army can move, I'll be extremely happy, uh, which shouldn't be too long, I don't think. As soon as our food shortage gets sorted out, which I'm hoping will be done once we've got some more food here. How's the surface mine looking? Can we upgrade it? We can upgrade it. More money. I'm looking forward to that. And then our army can move up north. I also did move this army up north as well. Um, it can actually fortify, right? Or what was it? It's, yeah, if this one army is not immune to a snow attrition. Could recruit some just some crappy infantry we don't need that. So let's fortify. And that'll mean that we're not going to suffer any attrition. Because we're just holding up in the woods. And then we'll push on the Scottish and just take them out. Like, I, I would very much like this province just to have it. Just to give me more money. Uh, and our surface mine has been completed there. How is our military bases being? Yeah, one more turn until we can start recruiting our amazing armies. So we'll finish off Aquitaine. Maybe leave a small garrison down there. Uh, pr probably, like, replace this army down here to the south just to defend it. Send this army back up to retrain. Um, and then just get our men at arms and all them elite troops. And then, I guess, prepare the war... Like, in fully two episodes' time, we're going to go to war with the Holy Roman Empire, which should be absolutely sick. Hopefully, by that time, we'll have the Spanish on side. I'm not sure if they if they will join me. But if they do, that would be much appreciated. And I, I would love that uh, for sure. Because, you know, the Holy Roman Empire is very scary. I mean, even getting the Byzantine Empire to come on side, with, they have a lot of armies as well. These are these are good troops as well. Even though they're actually only tier one, these are, these are decent. Like, oh, these are early period. Okay, so they're not that great, but they're... They're not bad. Can't see that army, unfortunately. So yeah, you go down there and then probably just swoop around. I don't really care too much about seeing Sicily. I'd much rather see more up here. Uh, but yeah, cool. So things are going really well. Really, really well. It's only a matter of time until we go to war with the Holy Roman Empire and the World War starts. It's going to be interesting indeed. Actually, can we make trade with the Byzantines now out of interest? Because uh, they can't dislike us too much, surely. They're, they're, they're somewhat friendly. They probably have a lot of tra uh, trade to give as well. To you. Yeah, 100 gold, I'll, I'll take that. And it gets me to actually see a lot more of this land. And see like Pisa as well. The Saracens as well. Are right there. Why are we at war with the Saracens? Or we're not. They just dislike us a lot. Why does Pisa dislike us so much? So that I may go to the yeah, they don't like me whatsoever. Okay, cool. So whatever. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you did. We're soon to be reaching a, a new new century, which is cool as well. Uh, hopefully the 1100s will be good to the English Empire. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.